in prison, you have to have a hustle to survive. My hustle while I was incarcerated was tattooing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own prison tattoo gun. While in prison, guys are able to get their hands on all sorts of things. So it's not hard to imagine they could find the tools necessary to start tattooing. One of the most important things you need is this. Why the hell ain't it working? Oh shit. Is this. Some sort of device that's got a motor in it. Now this is obviously a pair of beard trimmers, but you could use a CD player, a cassette player. Now what's so important about CD player, cassette player, beard trimmers is for the simple fact that inside of that, they have this. See that right there? That, folks, is a motor. That is gonna be the power for our gun. Now what's good about this is, it's just luckily enough, this device right here, I'm not even gonna have to tear it apart to make this tattoo gun. I'm, I'm actually gonna be able to keep this thing intact to create this gun. Other devices such as your CD player, your cassette player, you're gonna literally have to take those motors off and build the gun, build the gun from that. Now what I mean by that is, you'll have to have some sort of a L-shaped thing, whether it's a toothbrush or like I've done, I've broken this spoon right here, but basically you'll have your motor will be mounted right here, your barrel will be mounted right here where your needle will go in, and then you'll have to have the wires coming off of your motor that'll hook up to either an adapter like a 4.5 adapter or battery pack, whatever. But I don't have to show you that in this video because literally this electric razor right here can be mounted right to it so that we can make our tattoo gun while keeping this device intact. Now what's good about that is, while you're in prison, tattoo guns are contraband. You're not supposed to have them. You're not supposed to be tattooing. So if we were in prison, we could literally put this thing together just like so, make our tattoo gun, do our tattoos, take this apart, put this back together like so and it's just a pair of clippers the COs whenever they're searching looking for contraband they're never gonna bother this because this is an item you're actually allowed to have in prison little do they know that when they're not looking we take this thing apart and we turn it into the tattoo gun you're also gonna need some sort of a big Pin. but you see that it's got the I'm trying to get this in focus it's got it's got the ballpoint on it you need a ballpoint pin because this is going to be the barrel where your needle is going to go through it's going to connect to your motor so once all this is hooked up it's going to look like motor here mount here barrel right here this is going to be your tattoo gun you're also going to need electrical tape now in prison electrical tape is really hard to come by but it can be found there are guys who work on maintenance they can get this for you if you can't get electrical tape, you can use anything that can secure the motor to the mount to the barrel. It's not hard. I mean, guys devise all sorts of things. I've taken trash bags, made strands out of the trash bags, and literally wrapped it around the barrel, wrapped it around the motor, and literally taken a lighter and shrink wrapped it together. I mean, there's all sorts of ways that you can put this together. Okay, so basically what we're doing first is we're taking apart the big pin. I've cut the big pin, all right? And then I've pulled out the ink cartridge with the ballpoint on the end of it. I've got this little barrel right here, and I've got the ballpoint with the ink cartridge on the inside. Now what you need to do is, we need to remove the ink cartridge from the ballpoint simply by just, you know, removing it, taking it out. And you gotta be careful because there's ink in here, so of course ink can get everywhere. As you can see, there's like ink coming off right here. Next thing you wanna do, we gotta take this ball out of this point. So we gotta take, there's a little ball that's, you know, it rolls across the paper as you're writing. We need to remove that. And the way we're gonna remove that is with a pair of fingernail clippers. Also something you can get in prison. And what we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna grab the end of that, just like so, and we're gonna cut that. Cut it, and now the end of this looks pretty ragged. Now, this will eat you up if you use this tattooing. So the best thing you can do is get a piece of sandpaper and file this thing down. And also you need to get the rest of the ink out of here. So the best bet for that is to wash this out. We've got our barrel. We can fit those together just like so. And those are gonna sit on here. This is gonna be our shaft for our gun. So what we need to do is we need to secure that. We're gonna secure that with our electrical tape. And you want to get this thing like as tight as you possibly can. You want this, you don't want there to be any kind of wiggling or anything like that. The guys in prison really pride themselves on the guns they make to be like really good, 
guns that hold up and can weather shakedowns and searches and having to get tossed under a freaking locker when the heat's on. Believe me, I've been in all these situations. I could tell you countless stories about getting shook down while tattooing because some freaking idiot told on me thinking he was gonna get like an extra tray out of the chow hall or something like that. I mean, this is my livelihood in prison we're talking about. You know, some guy's hustles in prison was telling. It's just as simple as that. And what makes you an awesome tattooist in prison is to be able to tattoo under the worst of conditions. Having to watch your back, having to watch out for not only the police, but for the guys in prison who tell, uh, tell on everything. So anyways, we've got this secured right now. Let's look at that. Once the motor is secured, the motor is gonna sit right here and this is gonna be what we use to tattoo. We're gonna do some tattooing. The motor is the most important thing when you're hooking this up because you wanna hook this up first before you put the motor on here because you need to align this ever so correctly to where that needle is gonna run through this barrel out the end here and it's gonna be able to hook up to this piece right here and all of that needs to be straight. It needs to, it just needs to fit together right or this is not gonna work at all. So when we're turning that on like that, this is what's spinning and that's what's moving our needle back and forth. But I almost forgot, what are we gonna use for a needle? Oh my God. That was pretty classic, right? suck at playing guitar but guitar strings are fucking awesome for tattooing well you need to use either one of the bottom strings that's an E or a B you need to use those hopefully we can work with that now how do we get this apart this is fucking tough well you could cut this but cutting this it would make um, a blunt edge and we don't really want a blunt edge we want a fucking point on this thing we want an awesome point. So what are we going to do to make a point? We are going to pop it. Well, I'm going to use a candle. Now, this is not your average candle here, but I need a flame where I can pop this string. Okay, so we're looking at the candle right here. and Basically, we're going to hold this string over top of it once we light it, and we're going to pop this string. So, I need to light this candle. I need to do this quick, too, because this candle is important for something else. So, candle's lit. Now, let's do this. So we're holding it, holding it, stretching it, stretching it, popping it. What we've done here is we've created a point on this needle and on this one as well. So we've actually just made two needles by popping this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this needle through this barrel, through the ball point as well. Barrel, body, ball point, needle okay so we've got our needle hanging out how much needle are you supposed to leave out of this thing well not very much folks and you're talking literally like that much you're talking maybe an eighth of an inch but we're not worried about that right now what we're worried about is hooking this motor up to this so we'll just hang some needle out of the front we've got needle hanging out of the back and we need to get this motor hooked up to run this properly so with that I'm gonna hook this motor up so this thing runs straight. Now you want, this is what we call an offset. This offset is what spins and makes the needle go back and forth in and out of the skin. But you need that offset to be set up just a little high. That way that when you wrap this needle around that offset, when you wrap that needle around that offset right there, you don't have to worry about the needle jumping off of the offset. So we're gonna put it up just a little high. Not too high, but just a little high. So once you feel like you've got that pretty, pretty well lined up, then it's time to secure the motor to the body of the gun. So again, we've got our electrical tape. Now as I'm taping this up, I'm, I'm like trying not to affect the motor, uh, the button right here. So I can't tape but so far up this thing, but I really do need to get this tape close as I can to the top for securing purposes. So now we've got our motor secured. Our motor is secured to our gun. Our gun looks crazy because we have three feet of needle hanging out of it, but that's okay, we're gonna adjust that. 
we're gonna pull this needle back now because we need to figure out just how much needle we need hanging out. Now the best way to do this folks is, remember this is your offset right here, okay? Keep your offset facing forward. That way, when it's all the way out, you'll know how much needle you have out. Once you've figured out how much needle you want hanging off, then you're going to wrap your needle. So I've wrapped my needle. As you can see, there's just a little, a little wrap in that thing right there. And I'm going to cut off the excess part of the needle that I don't need, again using the fingernail clippers. One single sheet of toilet paper. What we're going to do. We're going to run the needle through this toilet paper. We're actually going to wrap this toilet paper up like so. Let's rip off a little folded section of the toilet paper. Now we're going to roll this up around the needle, mind you, and do it about halfway down the needle. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to roll up the toilet paper around the needle and it's easy. It's not hard at all. Simple. Look, boom. I'm just rolling this up. It's going to keep our needle secure and we're going to fit this right inside the barrel. And this is going to be like a brace that keeps this end from moving around too much. Let's hook this needle up and let's see just how it works. You can see we have needle hanging out. Now that might look like too much needle. If it is, we can just adjust the end piece. The end piece is our actual adjuster. I just adjust the end by pulling it out a little bit. And look, I've got less needle hanging out now. And now, I've got a tattoo gun.